The trial for two brothers accused of murdering a man in 2020 continues. Christopher and Randy Martel are facing murder charges for the death of Julio Mijares. Yesterday, the jury was presented with video footage showing the brothers fighting Mijares and three men who came with him holding machetes and a gun. KTSM 9 News reporter Carla Draxler joins us now. And Carla, today, one of those men took the stand. Yes, that's right, uh, Stella. The defense uh, brought out uh, Gregorio Barraza to take stand as witness. Now, Barraza was charged with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon for that night of December in 2020, and he is currently in custody. Barraza took the stand for only a few minutes before invoking the Fifth Amendment. However, he did say he was there that night and that he was holding a machete. However, earlier in the day, uh, the state arrested their case or they concluded their presentation with two El Paso police detectives taking a stand and showing an interrogation of Chris Martel after he was arrested in Dallas two months after the incident. During the interview, Martel said he was acting out of self-defense when he shot Minjares. Minjares' stepdaughter, who was at the home where the incident happened, called 911 that night saying, quote, I'm scared because my dad is crazy and a psycho, referring to Minjares. Uh, Chris Martel recalling when he saw the three individuals coming with Minjares to the home of Minjares' ex-girlfriend, he saw the men with machetes and one of them was pointing a gun at him. Martel saying he was, he was pistol whipped and was bleeding out of his head when he got the gun out of his truck and pulled the trigger on Minjares. He said in the interview he couldn't see properly and thought he was still in danger. However, the state pointed out that they don't believe uh, that Martel presented himself as if he was still in fear of his life. They say, according to that video surveillance footage that was shown multiple times, that Chris Martel had put Minjares in a chokehold and that he had stabbed him with a shiv uh, that was also proven on the, uh, the autopsy report and that he had disarmed another man that had come with Minjares. Now, another thing that happened today, the defense attorneys uh, put a motion uh, to change the verdict or uh, to for directed verdict, I apologize, claiming that there was no proof that Randy Martel ever fired his weapon and that Chris Martel was uh, acting out of self-defense and therefore should not be tried for murder. However, the judge did not take that motion into consideration. She ended up denying it. Back to you, Estella. Okay, thank you very much, Carla. And we will continue to bring you coverage on the trial. And to see more of the coverage from yesterday, just visit our website, ktsm.com.